Could this be the next Overwatch hero? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Stalosa and this is Unit Lost. And for a while now, we all suspected Doomfist would be the next hero. But it would appear that Jeff Kaplan says, no, actually, 24 is not the hero that you guys, well, actually thought it would be. So who the hell is it? Could it be this guy? This is, I think it's a homage to the Colossus of Rhodes, which depicts the god Helios. But also, it might be Ares as well, which is the god of war, given how he's dressed. I mean, hell, this looks like some sort of crazed Spartan. But anyway, could it be Vaughn? Voiced by this guy. So you're probably thinking, who the hell is this? Well, this is Alex Malalos. I've destroyed your name. I'm very sorry there, Alex. Um, but who the hell is this guy? Well, this is his IMDb profile. And if you look at this, he said he's a British-born actor and playwright. Uh, he came from the Mediterranean island of Cyprus to New York, where he studied theatre at blah, 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 blah. And that's all great and fine. But if you look in the bottom right, well, you can actually see there he's credited as an actor on Overwatch. But what the hell did he actually do on Overwatch? There is no Greek language on Overwatch. That we don't actually know what character he, well, has been playing or what the hell he's actually been doing for Overwatch. Then we take a look at his website. And if we look on his website, we can see his credits, what he's actually worked on. So we can see he's worked on television, he's worked on film. But then at the bottom, we can see that he's got some voice work. Now, this is the current version of his website right now. But the thing is, if you use the Wayback Machine, which is a website which saves snapshots of websites from the past, you can see actually that at the very bottom there, it says character, Greek, title, Overwatch, director, Jeffrey Kaplan, Aaron Keller, production blizzard entertainment so what the hell does this mean does this mean he has been voicing a greek character that is about to hit overwatch maybe it does maybe it doesn't but it is very weird that this was on his website and this snapshot was taken from october last year and suddenly it's been removed from his website why would they do that maybe blizzard were like excuse me can you remove that from your website we're not ready to announce greek just yet over the past week talon activity has been detected in the area it is my belief that they are attempting to steal the newly unearthed artifacts from the temple ruins atop Helios. If we look at this news ticker on Lijiang Tower Night Market, this is what it actually says. Ancient Greek statues emerge in Ilios to reproduce the sun. Now, you can see the source that I've, uh, I've linked to there. This is from blizzplanet.com. That's what they say that translates to. I can't speak Chinese or Mandarin, so I'm not sure. But if that's true, that is very interesting. Of course, the name of the map Ilios, well, it just, that means sun, right? But if ancient Greek statues are emerging in Ilios to reproduce the sun, Maybe that means something to do with Helios, because he's actually the Greek sun god. Now, this is the temple at the very top of, uh, well, Ilios ruins. And if we go back to what um, Athena says when you're in the dropship, she says this, Welcome to Greece, agents, but I'm afraid this isn't a holiday. Over the past week, talent activity has been detected in the area. It is my belief that they are attempting to steal the newly unearthed artifacts from the temple ruins atop Ilios. The ancient ruins in Ilios are an internationally protected heritage site. Please try to avoid unnecessary damage. So this is the temple. I think the whole structure is one big temple. The thing right in the middle, yeah, that's the temple, I guess, like the, the main component of the temple. So is something going on here that has been unearthed that has something to do with the sun? Maybe it's a power source. Maybe it's some sort of nuclear weapon. I don't know. And Talon are after this. And what, like, what does all of this mean? It is very kind of surreal and weird. But these like uh, bits of information have been kind of available for a long time like this hasn't been hidden anyway we've got statues on the ruins map this is Hera now I'm pretty sure that is the same statue that they've modeled the uh, her, her off in the game there I mean it looks pretty much identical so I don't think there's any kind of dispute with that there but there are other statues as well so this one here is Athena now we know Athena from Overwatch lore is the most probably the uh, a friendly god program that Overwatch used as their sort of um you know command and control system in a way like Athena helps them with tactics with plans she kind of runs Overwatch in a way and again you can see that this is very much based off that statue it's slightly different in the way it's done but mm. there are also new statues on uh Ilios. If you go to the capture the flag variant of the map, which is what you guys are seeing footage from here, that's why it looks like it's sort of dawn. In the spawns, there are those statues there of Hera, which again were new. Well, like, what could they mean? Like, what could all of this mean? This is the Colossus of Rhodes, apparently, or what Blizzard think it looks like. That is Ares, right? He is the god of war. It doesn't look like him, does it? It's got a similar helmet, but it's got a sword. It doesn't have a shield. 
This thing is the Colossus of Rhodes. Now, that depicts Helios, and, well, it's a big statue in the sea. That's what that is. But I think it looks more like a Spartan. This does. Maybe we're going to actually get a new hero. Now, of course, this is wild speculation because I've gone through the evidence that we've got. So we know there is a voice actor who is British born, but he can speak Greek and he's Greek um, he has Greek uh, family. So he can, and he's basically Greek. So he can do a Greek accent, right? And he's cre credited as doing a hero called Greek. And then it was taken off his website. The news ticker on Lijiang Tower Night Market says that, well, things have, ha are happening in Ilios. So we know something's going on. The dropship tells us there are talent, well there is talent activity and they're trying to acquire a powerful artifact. What is going on? Are actually, I mean, have we got this completely wrong? Is there going to be no Numbani cinematic? Is it going to be an Ilios cinematic where Helios or Ares or whoever the hell it is comes back to stop Talon taking this extremely powerful artifact? And maybe, maybe he's some sort of melee tank character kind of akin to, um, I, I guess you could say, Reinhardt, because in my eyes, there is a gap in the current roster of heroes for a tank character. We need another tank that performs a similar role to Reinhardt, so Reinhardt is not this instant, well, not instant pick, but a mandatory pick all of the time. And this kind of does fit with that, you know, sort of this ancient Greek hero style guy. Um, maybe if he if he was totally like a ripoff of King Leonidas from 300, like he's got his shield and he's got a spear, could be interesting. I don't know, like, it, 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 it's very hard to tell with Overwatch, and given the changes that were going through on the PTR, when we were looking at things like the Doomfist gauntlet was smashed, so that indicated something was going on, well, the container was smashed, something was going on with the container. Like, what could that mean? Like, what, what is going on? Why are they making these changes? There are loads of references to Doomfist all over the place, and it, everybody was coming really sort of hyped about it. I've covered it a lot. There was a lot of information swirling around, but then for Jeff to come out and say, actually, guys, you know what? He's not the next hero. Now, Jeff's message could be intentionally vague. There may be two heroes that get launched, right? Maybe Doomfist and another hero is launched at the same time. Um, there is also a mental theory about a hero called Lau, who appeared in very early artwork for the first strike um, graphic novel which was then cancelled so we don't know what he's about maybe he's the leader of talent or something we just don't know what i am expecting this cinematic to do wherever it is based if it is based in numbani if it isn't based in it's based in ilios or whatever it, it's just so ridiculous i'm expecting it to potentially introduce the leader of talent so if it does introduce a greek hero and this greek hero is helios or Ares. Uh, some sort of like ancient Greek well it won't be a god but it'll be somebody who's bases himself off like ancient Greek mythology um, and he's sort of like the god of war guy maybe he will be a bad guy and he'll be sort of the leader of Talon but it kind of doesn't make sense right because if he was based on a god it kind of feels more good you know what I mean like th these are not evil gods like the god of war is not evil um, uh, Helios who, who is the sun god he's again not inherently evil these are gods for the good of the people so it would be a bit strange if one of those popped up and suddenly they were evil but this is just like a massive open-ended thing we don't know what is actually going on and it's quite it's quite refreshing to be honest to be thrown about and, and to be put into a situation where it's like is it doomfist is it helios is it Ares. We literally don't know, but one thing we do know for absolute sure is there is a new hero coming, and we are trying to absolutely predict who the hell this will be, because Blizzard do like to leave little hints on their maps, and talking about their maps, heroes are generally linked to maps, and when I go through the maps in my mind, Ilios, nobody's linked to Ilios, like absolutely nobody. If you look at like Eco Point Antarctica, well, obviously that's where May, you know, May's linked to that map. If you look at King's Row, well, that's Tracer. If you look at Hanamura, that's Genji and that's Hanzo. If you look at Numbani, you could say that's uh, heavily linked to Lucio and Doomfist whenever the hell he eventually turns up. So a lot of the maps, in fact, pretty much all of the maps are linked to heroes. I mean, look at Watchpoint Gibraltar. That is an example of an Overwatch base, so that's linked to everyone, but more kind of linked to Winston because that's sort of where he lives. So you can just reel them off. I mean, Dorado, okay, that is uh, Sombra's map, you know? So something has to happen. What's going to happen? Well, I think we're going to find out pretty soon. We are entering the end of the competitive season of Overwatch, and when that happens, there's going to be a week of downtime. I expect there to be some sort of announcement 
going into next week where we get to know who the hell this new hero could potentially be. And I think it's going to be awesome. I hope it's a tank. If it's not a tank character, I hope it's some sort of melee DPS kind of guy. Like, I think we need another melee hero in the game. I think that would be absolutely cool. Ladies and gentlemen, go crazy in the comments below. It is very sort of out there while I've put forward this information here. Um, it could be leading us somewhere. It might not be leading us somewhere. That is, of course, why it's wild speculation. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Salosa, and this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.